Okay, today I'd like to talk about our approach to deal with out of database questions in example based dialogue systems. This is the overview of this study. It's the situation a user chats with a robot. The left is the user and the right is the robot. When the user says, Have you watched a movie recently? The robot searches its database. But in many cases, the question and its response are not in the database. And say, Sorry, I'm not sure about that. The user feels the robot cannot understand the question. And feels disappointed. In our approach, the robot cannot understand the question but understands the question type. In this case, the question type is experience. And based on the question type, the robot says, Well, I did not watch that. Did you watch that? In this presentation, I explain how to generate this response and its effect. Spoken dial system is used in many cases. Many systems use example based dial systems. Example based dial systems use pair of user questions and system replies. For example, user question what food do you like? And system reply I like apple pie. I eat at least once a week. By using example based style systems, we can make system replies consistent and concrete. But Example based dialogue systems cannot reply to the out of database questions. In such case, the system says, such as, I'm not sure. But such reply makes the user feel disappointed. Here, the goal of this study is generating good response that make users feel the system understands out of database questions. In our approach, the response consists of two parts. First part is deny. Replies such as, well, I did not watch that, to escape from unfamiliar topics. Second part is ask back. Reply such as, did you watch that, to take the dialogue initiative. By these two parts, we try to make users feel the system understand the question. How to make such a response? Our approach is question types. The system cannot understand the question, but can understand the question type. Using the question type, the robot replies like this, well, I did not watch that, did you watch that? Instead of, sorry, I'm not sure. Here, I explain the corpus. We use human robot speed dating dialogue corpus. This consists of the talking of a human subject and an android robot Erica. Actually, Erica was operated by an operator. The corpus consists of 31 dialogue sessions. Each session is about 10 minutes. For training models, we extract question data from the corpus. We only use the first question about the topic. We define these questions as best question. 
we extracted 245 best questions from the corpus, but it is too small to train a model. So we conducted that augmentation. We asked third-party augmenters to create best questions from dialogue topics and question types. We got 923 new best questions. So, we have 1168 best questions. We defined 8 question types. In database, habit, preference, experience, desire, subjective thoughts, personal information, general knowledge. Additionally, we considered the question form, yes no question or a 5 levels 1 edge question. In question types, in database is different from the others. In database questions are questions that should be covered by database. So we don't deal with this question type in the system. This graph shows the distribution of question types. The important part is these three types habit, preference, experience. Many questions of these three types are in the corpus. Here, I show some examples of question types. The question, what's your name, is in database. The question, what do you do in your day off, is habit and five diverse one edge question. The question, have you watched a movie recently, is experience and five diverse one edge question. The question, do you feel worthwhile to work, is subjective thoughts and yes no question. To make response, we define response frames for each question type and form. Response frames have some slots for words like verb and focus. For example, yes no question habit type has four kinds of response frames and five diverse one edge question preference type has two kinds of response frames. We defined question types and forms and corresponding response frames. Here, we annotated the question types and response frames appropriateness. For example, the question, have you watched the movie recently? The question type is experience, and the question form is yes no question. Experience and yes no question has four candidate response frames. But, for example, the third one is not appropriate because the question is asking recent experience, but the third one says never. In this way, we outdated it on the corpus. So far, we got the outdated data. Here, I show the baseline method of response generation. It is cascade system. First, classify question type and form. Second, select the corresponding response frame. In this step, select the most frequent response frame in the dataset. Finally, assign two slots words in user question. But actually, assigning two slots is not implemented, so experiment is stopped at selecting the response frame. 
in Cascade system, first step is classifying question type and form. We extract feature vector from the user question. Feature vector consists of 70 words. Function words, pronouns, adverbs, adjectives, presence of past tense. These words are observed in the training data. We train the logistic regression model. The input is the feature vector and the output is the question type and form. This graph shows the performance of the trained model. The important three types, habit, preference, and experience, are classified by high score of F measures. And we experiment the second model, simple sequence to sequence model. This model generates the response frame directly from the user question. Using this model instead of the cascade system, we can generate the response frame robustly regardless of incorrect question type classification. And in the future, maybe the number of kinds of response frames increase, but this model is flexible against increasing. We analyzed the generated samples and found about 80% of incorrect out of samples. The question type was incorrect. For example, input question, do you know a music instrument called a cajon? It is general knowledge question type and yes no question form, but output frame belongs to habit question type and five diverse one eight question form response frames. And input question, what do you do when you meet your family? It is habit question type and five diverse one edge question form, but output frame belongs to desire question type and five diverse one edge question form response frames. So maybe correct question type information improves the output we thought. This is our finally proposed system. This system generates the response frame directly from the user question by sequence to sequence model, but use classified question type and form. And this is the architecture. We pre-trained the question type classifier integrated it with sequence to sequence model and then fine tune the wall. We evaluated the three models by perfect matching ratio of the generated response frame and the target response frame. Let's review the three models. First, baseline cascade system. Classify the question type and form, then select the response frame. Second, simple sequence to sequence model. Generate response frame directly from the user question. Third, the integrated sequence to sequence model. Generate response frame directly, but use question type information. The table shows the integrated model has the best score. I show the improved samples. User question, do you know a music instrument called a cajon? Is the question type general knowledge and the question form yes no question. 
simple sequence to sequence model outputs the response frame of habit 5 doubles 1 edge frame. It's incorrect. But the integrated sequence to sequence model outputs the correct response frame. And user question What do you do when you meet your family? Is the question type habit and the question form 5 doubles 1 edge question. Simple sequence to sequence model outputs the response frame of desire 5 doubles 1 edge frame. It's incorrect. But the integrated sequence to sequence model outputs the correct response frame. I summarized this study. The motivation of this study is how can we avoid the dull responses for out of database questions. A proposed method is generating response frames directly from user questions by the sequence to sequence model integrated with the question type classification. The result of experiment shows generated samples are improved by the integrated sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. That's all. Thank you.